think I would be, uh, just for the happiness of it, I think I'd be singing in the rain. Just because it seems so kind of light and easy and enjoyable. Spencer Tracy, because I think he, he spanned generations and yet he always seemed uh, current. Maybe Meryl Streep, because I think she played so many different people that it, it might be interesting. I think the, uh, the, the, the fun fight for me would have been in uh, The Quiet Man, John Ford's movie, where they seemed to be fighting all over the place. It was a long, prolonged you know, fight that was, uh, that was f great fun. I think uh, Marconi's uh, Days of Heaven. There's something about the sound of it that I, that I remember as, as being, I, I mean, he has a bunch of them, you know. Uh, he has a, I, I'm very fond of Marconi's music in general, but Days of Heaven somehow jumping out uh, is one of the great ones. Or Once Upon a Time in America. So I could be either one. I think probably you'd have to pick Can. I think because it's the, it's sort of the, seems like the granddaddy of, uh, of film festivals. It's in a, it's in a beautiful place. And uh, I think the, the French have a great uh, love of cinema. So I think it's appropriate. You probably wouldn't know it. When I was growing up in Baltimore, there used to be the um, the Hippodrome, and uh, I can't even remember it much anymore. But I just know that there was like a, there was such great anticipation to be going to the Hippodrome as a kid to go see a movie that uh, that that would stand out in my mind. Maybe I would just be the 24-hour flu. You know, I come and I go. The one that comes to mind is the slinky. You know, the one that keeps, you know, how it turns over and goes down steps and things like that. I was always amazed how that thing could just go down the steps. It, it just fascinated me that the, the, this, that the slinky could do that. I'd say uh, catcher in the rye. I think it was the voice of, uh, of Holden Caulfield that I, when I remember reading it and it stayed with me, just the way he talked, there was a kind of real naturalistic way of talking that uh, uh, affected me in some ways, um, probably did in, in fact of the stuff I would do, that there was a real natural quality to his voice. Well, it's hard to, it's hard to be better than, uh, than Marlon Brando. In, uh, in The Godfather. And, and then, of course, right behind that, you, you know, Al Pacino, you know, so the, what, whatever, whatever group they were, they seem to be as, as good as I've seen. I think probably uh, George Washington, because he was the first president. And so he had a basically, he set the, he set the direction of the presidency in America and and how to handle it and, and where to go from there. And the fact that he only, he only served two terms and then stepped down uh, to walk away from that power, I, I would think uh, George Washington.